being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do you hit now. me. Okay? Sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to the beautiful city of Lansing, Michigan. Well, I don't know if it's beautiful, but that's where we're going to head out to today. And we're going to see old Stevie Jones. Yep, also known as Frickin' Media. Also known as who? Spanky Pants McGee. No doubt about it. He sure has a lot of aliases. He's going to give us a lot of information today. Woo-wee. I just can't believe I got the scoop on this. The 411. Ooh, this is the drama of YouTube for sure. As you watch this, just think of one thing. <laughs> Enjoy! Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I do apologize, good people, but the original upload somehow became corrupted while it was uploading. I've had that happen a couple times in the past, but I only uploaded six minutes of the video that was way longer than that. So I had to remake the video, and this is it. So hopefully you will enjoy this video because old Stevie Pants gives us a lot of information. He gives us an insight to his life that I don't think he intended for all of us to know. But at any rate, you will enjoy it. I promise. YouTube shut my channel. Well, they didn't shut my channel down. They just demonetized me for reused content, which is because all of my content was my own. But they couldn't get me for anything else, you know. And then you go on to go on to Dave's channel and it's just all reused content, his blithering blatherings and no educational value to his freaking videos. But, you know, he stays up. But whatever, I'm over that. Well, now, Spanky Pants, let me tell you a couple of things. First off, Dr. Dave knows all about these things and you don't seem to know anything. Of course, later in the video, you want to talk about how I'm not making any money. Bro, I made three times what you made. Just because your CPM was higher doesn't mean anything. It's the amount of views. It's the number of views. It's not the number of subscribers. It's not the CPM, the RPM. It's the number of views, brother. How many people watch your stuff? That's what makes you the money. Second off, if you've been demonetized for re-uploading content, it's probably because you use movie clips. That's a no-no on YouTube. I don't care how many other people do it. You're not supposed to do it. And when you re-upload content like I am right now, you have to make comments, not just a couple of seconds worth, a few minutes worth, several minutes. For example, I'm going to use about 10 minutes worth of this video, but I'm going to have at least 10 minutes of my commentary, excluding the intro and outro. Well, there you go, brain surgeon. If you ever get re-monetized, use my tips. I give them to you for free. No worries at all, sweetheart. Oh, by the way, lover boy, are you going to try to re-monetize your channel in 30 days? Because that's the time frame you're dealing with. 30 days and then you could reapply to the Google AdSense. What are you going to do, big boy? Tell us. No, I can reapply for monetization next month. Right. Yeah, I got a I got a strike for medical misinformation. 
after they demonetized me and then and then then they hit me with a metal then they hit me with a medical information strike which was bull. I've been dental court I've been going to court over my my arrest in Lansing and judges and prosecutors here stupid the judge the judge said in my motion to dismiss in her ruling that because when I first showed up to the DMV to renew my tags using the self-service kiosk and I stated that was my purpose there not to exercise my First Amendment rights, that I had no First Amendment protection. What is this babbling buffoon of a bird brain babbling about? What are you talking about, frickin' media? You have to de-escalate. De-escalate. Yeah, I don't know what frauditor said that. I thought it was hilarious, though. De-escalate. Yeah, frauditors always come up with new words, don't they? They certainly do. But hey, Spanky Pants, tell us, what are you going to do now that you don't have your channel? What are you going to do for income? Let's see, you're going to explain it all to us in great detail. And when people hear, they're going to sit there and laugh because I'm betting you never expected this live stream to leak out. But that's what Dr. Dave does best. He gathers information from the four corners of the globe, and then he disseminates it to his viewers. Isn't that what frauditors claim they do? Disseminate information to their viewers? Well then, I'm halfway to being a frauditor. Oh, happy day. The money's just going to roll in now, <laughs> not. Because I don't state I'm there to exercise my First Amendment rights. I don't have any First Amendment protections. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, people are. That it, it, it's uh, it's not going to get any better, man. People can tell themselves all they want to in their in their in their heart of hearts that you know, uh, police are going to stop being corrupt, judges are going to stop being corrupt, prosecutors are going to stop being corrupt, but it's only going to get worse. Come on, Stevie Jones, tell us the real deal. We all want to know what's going to happen when you reapply for monetization. You think you'll get it? We'll see. Well, we will see. That's all I can that's all I can say is we'll see. Once that strike falls off, I'll reapply and then we'll see. I took down some videos that, you know, may have fell under the criteria of of uh reused content where I covered some other channels, you know. Uh, so I took those videos down so they don't have that to use against me. But so everything on my channel now is completely my content, but they want to say, Oh, because you don't show your face in your videos. Yeah. 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 They can hear my voice, but you know, YouTube stupid, man. Libtardville. YouTube's full of liberal idiots. You mean YouTube is full of idiots like you, Stevie boy. You remember when you wanted to clock that guy on the sidewalk and you always say, oh, I'm not looking for a fight. You were that day. Look at your fist all clenched up. Boy, you were ready to sock that guy. And he was a good six inches taller than you. You're a real man, Stevie boy. Your wife and kids must be really proud of you, huh? No doubt. No doubt. Well, man, if you stop frauditing, I don't know, what are we going to do now? Eh, don't worry, Stevie. There's somebody out there ready to take your place and make that big money. Yeah. Now, you claimed you only made $6,200 in a month. Yeah, that's not a lot of money. That's not a successful frauditor. No, nah, successful frauditors rank way over 15, 20 grand a month. <laughs> yeah, that's the big time, baby any better man they're going to keep shutting channels down yeah you watch and why you think a lot of these bigger channels have went to doing the, the commentary videos you know where they take a video do a commentary on james freeman's done it now deep drake d's done it so many other channels are doing it because they're going after the first amendment auditor channels they screwed yeah. me out of 3700 bucks yeah, youtube when they demonetize me because it doesn't they they demonetize me on april 4th which is before the payout on twenty on the twenty first. So since they demonetized me on the fourth, they didn't finalize out my payment for that month. I got paid nothing. I had thirty thirty four hundred and something dollars coming to me in April, and then another 
another 250 yeah. and, or yeah another 250 and supposed to get another 250 last month and yeah they kept it all they didn't give me nothing whether or not i if i get remonetized if they'll eventually pay it out to me once i get remonetized we'll see but i ain't holding my breath on it it's a tricky process to be sure sweetheart now if you watch my live stream from tonight i did explain a few things on there about how you can get around that but you're probably too stupid to realize it. Yeah, all these frauditors are greedy. And you can monetize any video on YouTube, but you can't fully monetize it. And what that means is instead of a green dollar sign, you're going to have a yellow dollar sign. Don't be greedy. Be needy. Because when you try to green dollar sign everything, that's when you're going to get in trouble with YouTube. And that's why your channel has been demonetized. You know, the best thing you could have done is just kept uploading videos while you reapplied and nobody would have known the difference. No, you want to run your mouth. And the best part of this video is yet to come. Oh, everybody's going to love this part. Stay tuned. We're going to hear it. They're going to screw me hey. out of money. It's pointless, man go out there and put myself at risk and get arrested have to hire an attorney and all this other and i i don't have the funds for it i'm not going to take away from my family to you know prove a point dr dave didn't they shut my they demonetized my channel for reuse content had nothing to do with anything else he's an idiot but he can think whatever he wants to in his mind tell well, himself we, we, whatever he needs to to sleep better at night uh, no, it wasn't that I was posting the same video more than once. Uh, when I, I made a video, uh, for, uh, when I went to Ironton and, uh, I put in, uh, a couple short clips from super troopers in my video. And they said, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't put in a little short clip from a movie in your video, which is because people do it all the damn time. Now look here, Stevie boy, just because everybody does it, doesn't make it right, does it? Didn't your daddy always tell you when you were growing up, look boy, if everybody jumped in the lake, would you do it too? And you were probably a smart ass back then and said, yeah, I would. You know, there you have it, smart ass Stevie. Well, nah, just because one person does it doesn't give you carte blanche to do it for yourself. And that'll get you quickly demonetized on YouTube. If you do something like that, you better surround it with commentary. Just don't put the clip in there. You better talk a little bit. Have you ever noticed how much I run my mouth on my video? Yeah, I got a big mouth. And I'm brash. And I do a lot of things people don't like. But you know what, Stevie? That's what keeps my channel on the air and keeps it making money. If you don't like my comments, you can always fast forward through them. It's not a big deal. But it keeps my videos from being demonetized. And Stevie, you're going to find out how big of a deal that is. Because later on in this video, you're going to tell us how you're going to make your money from now on. I bet my viewers are going to love that. Yeah, that and I, a couple a couple clips from Goonies from Ma Fratelli. Nope, they don't tell you which specific videos that they're that they're talking about or anything. They don't give you any specifics. They just tell you reuse content, blah blah blah. Like like if you do a like I had a, a not a lot. I only had maybe four or five videos where I covered other channels, you know, or did a compilation of some other channels. You know, and I didn't do a voiceover when I did it. I just showed their clips. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, you can't do that either. Can't do that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Come on, Stevie boy. Enough of this small talk. You've been demonetized and you said you can't go back into construction because your body's all beat up. So what are you going to do for money? You have a wife and four kids who are still in school? Come on, Stevie boy, you have to be the provider. You have to man up. You had those kids and you got to take care of them. Tell us, Stevie boy, what are you going to do for money? Let's get that drum roll going because here it comes, good people. I filed, I, I filed for disability. So, I mean, that takes six to eight months, but 
pretty yeah. sure I'll get it with two steel bars and 20 screws in my leg and bad hip and bad back and sciatica and bursitis and everything else. Pretty sure I'll get it. So, but we'll see. Hell, I went back to work. I did, I did a flooring job and some trim man. and finished up the trim, woke up one day and I couldn't even get out of bed. Couldn't stand up, couldn't sit down, couldn't sit on the white my own because my hip was just swollen and so inflamed and dude, it hurt worse than my broken leg. Wow. I was like, yeah, I was like, after that, I was like, no, I'm done. I'm getting too old for that construction and then tore my body down and broke it down over the years. Can't take no more. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be rolling around in a damn scooter in the next 10 years. You know what I mean? Not, not even yeah. able to walk. So get out while the getting's good. I found through the years that karma has a terrible way of coming back on people. And it would be rather ironic if freaking media did wind up on a scooter or otherwise disabled. Maybe he's in a wheelchair for whatever reasons. I certainly hope that doesn't happen. I don't wish that on my worst enemies. And I don't consider freaking media to be an enemy. But with that said... It would serve justice if he were on the sidewalk one day and this young whippersnapper came along with the potato cam and just started recording him because he's in public. Oh, man, that would be justice served. What do you think about that, Stevie boy? I bet you wouldn't like that too much. and I bet you would have some choice words for that guy with the camera, wouldn't you? Well, stranger things have happened, Stevie boy. Uh, we weep, we reap what we sow. Reap what we sow. No doubt about it, sweetheart. I think you're in for a rough time, man. Don't go out in public because you know there's no expectation of privacy in public. My biggest month was I made 6,200. That was for December of last year. I made 6,200. I just, I just, the videos, my videos were just getting so many views, and, and that was short. That was after I took a break. To make off a hundred thousand views like that, you're probably gonna make about a thousand bucks. Damn. Maybe well, 500, five hundred. Five depends on what the clicks per minute and uh, or clicks per mil you're 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 getting paid out. Like my CPM before I got demonetized uh was eleven dollars and sixty cents per thousand views so per thousand views i was getting eleven dollars and sixty cents that's pretty good yeah uh, yeah yeah considering dr dave play. dr dave was being all braggadocious on his channel because he was pumping out 10 videos he was pumping out 10 videos a day right to try and get views but his cpm was only four dollars and something per thousand clip per thousand views what old Stevie boy just said has a slight ring of truth to it, and I say slight. I doubt if his CPM rate was almost $12. There's a lot of factors that go into the CPM rate, and I've never seen one quite that high. Yeah, that's a, that's a fairly high CPM rate. You'd need a fairly large channel to be getting that, and Stevie boy, you just never had that many subs. But at any rate, uh, you're, you're right. Yeah, I put out a lot of videos because the more views I get, the more money I make. So if I put out 10 views and each one gets 5,000 views, that's like one person putting out uh, one video and they get 50,000 views. It translates to the same amount of money, Einstein. Yeah, so while you're over there making six grand a month, I'm making way more than that, baby. No doubt about it. But you keep on keeping on, Stevie boy. And if you want to get remonetized, I'll help you for a small fee. No doubt about that, but it won't be that small. Oh, you know, you can see I, I was making double, over double what he was making in a thousand views. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm losing my drive for this, man. It, it's, it's, it's almost, you know, not even worth it. Go out there, put yourself in harm's way, you know, put yourself in the position to be arrested and have to hire an attorney and spend a bunch of money on attorney fees and court fees and this, that, and the other, just to prove your point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just, you know, when the family starts suffering, then, uh, you know. Hey, Stevie boy, why don't you tell all my viewers what you really think about my channel? 
tell them. Go ahead, Stevie, let it all out. Or like they used to say, let it all hang out, Stevie boy. He won't last, dude. He, he won't last. I, he won't last. I, every now and again, I check I check his channel to, just to see if he put another video out about me, which every once in a while he does. He, he, he'll, he'll go grab some of my old content and try to throw it out there in a video. You know, get over it, dude. Well, yeah, his intro is nothing but reused content clips from other auditors' videos that he compiled together wow. without any kind of narrative, without any voiceover or anything. And that's that's that is a direct violation of the YouTube partnership program. Not even because of the cussing. It's it's they're giving him the yellow because it, he's using other people's content. You know something, Stevie boy, if you had a brain, you would be dangerous it's not because i'm using other people's content have you lost your mind half the channels on youtube would be demonetized if that were the case shut your mouth you know nothing about how youtube works that's why your channel is demonetized sweetheart but like i said for a small fee oh oh yeah it won't be that small yeah for a fee uh yeah i can help you out because I miss your videos. Yeah, you were a money maker for me, baby. But uh, no, the reason my videos are demonetized is because I demonetize them. You see, YouTube allows me to rate my videos where most fraud editors don't have that luxury. And I'm not going to screw that up. So I would rather err on the side of caution and demonetize my videos before YouTube does it for me. Does that make sense to you, sweetheart? What else do you want to say about me, Stevie boy? I know you got some more things on your mind. Go ahead, let everything out while you're at it. He deletes all the, he, he edits all the cussing out and all that. He edits it out, so it ain't the cussing. Um, he comment, he does a commentary throughout the video as mindless and, and, and babbling that it is, you know what I mean? Just to make fun of somebody, to speak his opinion about somebody. You know, he was the coward little commie back. Didn't want to meet with me in person because he was afraid I'd break a foot off. And even though I never threatened him, no, I wouldn't put hands on him unless he put hands on me first. But, you know, he's still scared to meet somebody face to face and talk face to face. I'll talk to your face. I don't care. If you let my words pull you off your square, that's your fault. Well, there you have it, folks. Old Stevie Jones, one of the Jones boys. Let's see, what else did he call himself? Spanky Pants McGee. Yeah, old Spanky Pants McGee. Whatever, sweetheart. Yeah, I, nobody's afraid to meet you in person, but you seem to be a loose cannon on your audits, your so-called audits, and I've seen the way you talk to people, and I'm not going to meet anybody in public who speaks to women the way you do, because I tell you what, see, I wouldn't meet you by myself. I'd have some people around me, and they're not going to stand for that nonsense of you talking to me like that. Yeah, I'm about 20 years older than you, and there's no reason for you to talk to me like that. Plus, I was concerned for you, man. I didn't want to see you get hurt over some nonsense. Yeah, you can believe that or not. I don't really care. But yeah, for me to meet you in person would serve absolutely, positively no purpose at all. Why? Because you want to talk crap to me? Yeah, well, you know, save it, put it on a video, or do whatever you want to, sweetheart. It doesn't matter to me. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that! Oh, you assaulted me! I did so many. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? 
You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. No reason to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy this time you did this to me. We're arresting for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You just assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula. Alu akbar. Haknuika na kra. Ula wala fufatai. Greetings. Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel, ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now, there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!